All right, this is Android Cowboy. Um, I'm here today. We're going to uh, talk to you guys about uh, how to disable the Amazon over there updates. And recently, there's actually been quite a few. We went from uh, 7.3.1 to uh, 7.4.1, and then they released uh, almost uh, within a couple of days. They reached another one to 7.4.3. Um, so if you're rooted, uh, each time you get an update, you lose root and you have to reroute it again. So that can be kind of a pain. Um, and also sometimes maybe you just don't want the updates, it's not really anything major. So if you want to be in control, you can disable the OTA updates, um, which is okay because you can always do manual updates anyway, so it's not a big deal if you disable that. If you decide later you want to update, you can just download the update manually and transfer it to your Kindle. So we're going to show you that. Uh, first thing is you definitely need to be rooted. Uh, so if you root rooted, uh, this will not work. Um, and we have instructions, uh, have links there for, for rooting. Uh, and then you're going to need a file explorer app uh, again for I always ex I recommend ES file explorer this is the latest version 3 so if you have an updated uh, you know please update your uh, version because it looks very different if you're not so when you come here you, you're usually probably on the SD card so what you're going to do is probably use this controller here uh, this brings up the menu from there what you want to do is go to the slash device this takes you to the root and from there you want to go to system uh, ETC um, and then security and there you see a file called OTA certs zip so I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit um, and that's the and that's the file here this one right here OTA zip we're gonna have to deal with so we best need to get rid of that and it can't be in this folder so you definitely want a copy of it so what I would do is first if you long click on it and actually say if you actually go to uh, move to um, you can pick somewhere to move into now. Um, I've, I think the easiest place, this is your SD card, the easiest place you can put it on the root of your SD card. I would just put it, uh, maybe a good place might be the downloads folder where you have files and, and that's a good one. I like to put things there. So you can put you can put that in there and after you put that in there you can see that it, it, it basically copied it over but the file is still here. So to get rid of this you either need to delete it which is one option but just to keep it around in case you want to get it back, I would just rename it. Um, so just rename the file and you basically just need to get rid of the dot zip is probably enough. So I would rename it to just uh, uh, dot dot back. Oops, let's cancel that. Um, so I would rename it to um, easy one is just dot back and just go ahead and save that. Um, Okay, okay. so that actually did not work, and that's because we actually don't have... So one thing you may be is that you want to make sure you have uh, permissions here. So under Root Explorer, under Tools and Root Explorer, make sure that we have the mount RW here set to RW, RW. So that's one reason that actually wasn't working, is we need to set that. Um, so once we do that, we should now be able to rename this file uh, to what we want here. So let's try that again. Dot back, and that's it. Okay, there you go. See, um, as you can see now, it's the file renamed. That's a question mark because uh, it's not going to recognize it. And we still have it. And so you can go back and rename this to dot zip if you want to get the uh, up, updates again. And if you also remember, we also saved uh, a copy of it um, on the downloads folder as well. Um, so I have too many windows open. Okay, so let's go to the downloads folder, and you can see we also have the OTA. So we have a copy of it there as well. Um, but now this, you should not get the updates anymore. But if you want to get it, you can just rename it back to .zip, and you should be fine again. So that's basically it. Remember, you need root, and remember, if if it's not working, don't uh, remember that you got to make sure that on the root explorer here you have under mount rw you have the path uh, in the system as rw otherwise uh, you won't be able to uh, do that so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel where we'll bring you more kindle fire stuff